so I just wanted to take some time out to answer some of the questions that I've been getting about my LASIK procedure. It's officially been a week and a day since I've gotten it done. So far, no regrets. Woo! So um, I really just wanted to go over my overall experience and then answer some of the questions that I've been getting. Um, some of the things that you all have been asking me are, where'd you go? Did it hurt? Who was the doctor? How quick was it? So hopefully uh, this quick little you know, vlog will answer some of those things. I paid $560 total for both of my eyes. I am a very cautious person when it comes to my skin, my eyes, my health. So trust me, this is not something that I would have done just for cost. Uh, I think that's really important that you know that because so my one of my cousins asked me like $560 like yes I make sure that I'm going through all the details and sorting all that out talking to the doctors asking all the questions before I'm choosing something that's the cheaper option so anyway something that you can talk to the ophthalmologist about yourself so that you can one you might not even be eligible for it but two if you are maybe you want to still walk through the other options so that you can make the best decision for you and for your eyes and for your health because that's so important but i made the decision that it was something that i was going to do scheduled it the same day for a few weeks well actually for a month out and they gave me all the paperwork that i needed to complete for the day of the exam so that way when i came in everything was happening so the day i went in was la not last friday but the friday before last my appointment was early in the morning 8 45. i didn't have any dietary restrictions the night before so i didn't have to worry about that didn't have any dietary restrictions that morning the only thing that i had to do was to not wear my contacts at least five days prior to the procedure which was fine. I actually didn't wear them for a week prior just to be on the safe side for, for me because like I said, I'm cautious about things like that. So when in, my parents did take me because one of the conditions is that you cannot drive yourself from the appointment because you will not be able to see, your vision will be hazy. Um, so you won't be blind or anything like that, but your eyes will just be running. So you can't drive because the water um, and the moisture that's happening in your eyes will impact your ability to drive. So, got there. I was probably there at the office for about an hour total. That's including me arriving, making payments, and me getting the procedure done. And really, it's just because there were other people there getting the procedure done. They don't do the procedure every single day. So, there were like maybe... There's maybe like six people ahead of me getting the procedure done. And and it might have been even more. It really just happened so fast. Uh, so it might have been like six to eight people there. Uh, so Dr. January was the one who did my procedure. And I will share his information after this. It's a little snapshot of him or whatever. And his contact information if it's something that you're interested in. Um, but anywho, so... He walked me through the procedure. It was very detail oriented, kind of explained to me the expectations, what was gonna happen or whatever. They numbed my eyes with some eye drops, maybe about 10 minutes prior to the procedure. And then they added some more numbing drops right before the procedure as well, um, just to make sure that your eyes are completely numb. So when I went in for the procedure, I would say that all in all, it was maybe like seven minutes and I'm guessing, but I know for sure it was less than 10 minutes. The best way to describe it to you was that it was so fast. Everything was just happening so fast. You don't really have time to think about anything. It's just happening. So when he walks you through all the details, it's helpful because as things are happening, you really can't ask questions. Things are just happening. Um, there was no pain. It was completely pain free. And I would like to say I have a higher pain tolerance than some people, but I did speak with several other people prior to getting the procedure done and they told me it was going to be pain free also. So I'm trying to give you like an unbiased opinion here, but it was pain free. Uh, the only thing that was a little weird is that you feel some type of pressure and the pressure was like a clip. They put something on your eye to like keep your eye open. 
didn't hurt. It was just like, oh wow, never felt that on my eye before. What's that? But once again, it's all happening so fast. You can't even say like, what's that? It's just happening. Um, Dr. January did a really good job trying to distract me because I think I watch too much Grey's Anatomy and it's kind of taken over my life and I feel like the, the need to like wonder what's going on. So he just kind of walked me through things. Um, he tries to distract me. And once again, it was just a different experience. It wasn't because I was hurting or because I was like flipping out. It's just because I'm an overthinker and I'm just like, what's this on my eye? But you don't have time to ask questions because everything is just happening. So anyway, they move from eye to eye. Um, procedures happening super quick, like I said, all in all, maybe seven minutes. And then at the end, they want to take a picture. And it's like, okay, geez, like I can't see, but okay. So you can see, but it's just your eyes are have like a haze over them because of the, the fluid drainage. Uh, so I took my picture. I'll share that on my Instagram later. Um, it's, it's such a dorky picture. Anywho, took my picture. Took some Tylenol PM, which really did nothing for me. I don't know if it's because I had my cup of coffee that morning because I didn't have a dietary restriction, but um, I had my cup of coffee and I it was hard for me to go to sleep. So they do tell you post-procedure that you want to sleep four to six hours. Now, sleeping is a relative term. What it really means is that you just need to have your eyes closed. The fluid was starting to drain already within like 15 minutes. Um, they tell you 20 minutes, but it was about 15 minutes. And you feel like a mild sting. The way I like to describe it, if you've ever swam in a salt pool, there's like a little stinging from the salt. Kind of felt like that. So my eyes are closed. Um, I got something to eat. Ate with my eyes closed, but this is like on my way home. I didn't go out to eat. Um, got in the bed. I had some sleeping goggles, um, applied, oh well, no, I didn't put the eye drops in yet, uh, but I had some sleeping goggles that I put on. That way you're not um, accidentally rubbing your eyes or touching your face or anything because your eyes are sensitive at this point. So sleeping goggles and the fluid's not draining to the point where it's like running down your face. I don't want you to think that. It's just if you open your eyes, you have involuntary water in your eyes. So what ends up happening is you inadvertently go to sleep because you're sitting there for four hours. I didn't sit there for a full four hours um, with my eyes closed, but I sat there maybe for an hour listening to Grey's Anatomy, listening, not even watching, um, to the point where it's like, okay, I can't open my eyes. So I have no choice but to go to sleep. I wasn't even tired. I just kind of forced myself to go to sleep. I only had my eyes closed for the four hours. I didn't do the six hours. I did an exact four hours because I wasn't tired. So once I got up, I was like, oh, oh 15 more minutes. Just gotta keep my eyes closed for 15 more minutes. And I was super happy about that. Um, they give you everything that you need at the doctor's office. So my eye drops, that I'm going to use, well, I use them very frequently. I'm not gonna go through all my post-op instructions, it's too much. Really frequent for the first week, and then I have eye drops to last me for the next couple of months, um, just to kind of use as needed um, to help with moisture in my eyes. So far, I've only been using them like three times a day. Today, well, no, today I've only used it once. Yesterday, I was at like three times a day. So I'll probably put some eye drops in after this. Um, they come in a vial. It's like a little bitty vial. I guess I could have showed them to you and I have them here. So here we go. Y'all so patient. So these vials, I'll just put my eye drops in now, like while we're talking, I guess. Little twisty, like a little Kool-Aid. <laughs> and I usually put a few drops in. Um, just to empty out the vial completely. But just for the purposes of that, just kind of showing you. But I usually empty out this entire vial. You get everything that you need for your post care, which I really like. So you don't have to go to a pharmacy or anything like that. So that's super convenient. <laughs> convenient. Um, what else? That night, I went to the grocery store. 
I put on my um my dark shades and I went to the grocery store. So literally by like my procedure was at 8:45. I went to the grocery store at like six o'clock. Yeah, like six o'clock. The next morning I took my son to the movies, to a 10 a.m. movie. Um Sunday I went to a concert. Monday I went to work. So I mean, all in all. I mean, it's to me, it's a no brainer, but let me tell you some of the other things, I guess. The only downside, not a complaint, just the truth, is that Saturday, I made the mistake of just like scratching my eyelid because I thought my eyelid was itching. Don't do that. Don't do that. I my eye now, and it's not even bothering me. It's a week and a day, but, um, it's Saturday and a little bit of Sunday, I felt like an eyelash was in my eye, which was mad annoying. So Saturday there felt like an eyelash was, or some like dirt was in my eye, but it was really just my eye starting to heal again. I was annoyed to the point that I was like, maybe I did too much. Maybe I just need to go to sleep and take a nap. And I did, it took like a three hour nap because I was so annoyed. But, I did have the expectation that that was going to happen because I was explained that you feel like something's in your eye. But by Sunday, that um, annoyance had kind of like left. And like I said, I went to a concert that night, so I was good. Monday, I didn't feel that way at all. Tuesday, I felt 100% back to myself. Um, most of this week, so let's say... Let's just talk about from the week after I've gotten it done in general. So Saturday through, well, Friday night through Wednesday, I wore sunglasses while I was driving. My regular sunglasses. I didn't even have to keep wearing the, the provided ones. I wore my regular sunglasses while I was driving. By Thursday, I actually forgot my sunglasses and I made it. I was okay. I had some light sensitivity, but I was good by Friday. I was like super good today I wore my sunglasses for like 15 minutes of my drive and it was more just because I didn't want to do too much but I don't really think that was necessary um, the other thing is as we may know your body builds up resistance in different ways so my right eye was the eye that was done first my left eye was done second but like I said, they went back and forth. It's just they did the, the right eye, then they moved to the left eye and back and forth or whatever for seven minutes, seven minutes, people. So my left eye did build up a little resistance is my assumption. Once again, this is Grey's Anatomy talking. And as you can see, I'm going to come into the camera. I did have like a blood bezel pop right here to the left. And then it was towards the top of my eye. It's starting to fade here. It's not bothering me. It's not bothering me at all. But I just want you to know that that's what's going on there, but it's clearing up. So I think it'll be gone by like next week, by the end of the week. Because this one was like the one that annoyed me at the top. And I think that's why I felt the eyelash, the eyelash in my eye. Um, and that cleared up so fast. It like cleared up. Today is like the clearest it's been, but it started clearing up I started noticing a difference on Thursday. Then yesterday I was like, oh, she gone. And then today I was like, oh, she really gone, gone. So yeah. The point is, I'm happy with the results. I shared with you earlier that I can see 2020. I am not wearing any glasses. I'm not wearing any contacts. I threw my contacts away the next day. I was like, goodbye. I'm happy. Ready to save this money. Um... Yeah. All in all, I mean, I think it was a really good experience. Dr. January was really great. I highly recommend him. He's super kind, super detail oriented. Their staff is amazing. Um, everything, all my questions were answered. All my needs were met. I don't have to wear glasses anymore. So hope this helps. Let me know if you have any other questions that I did not answer in this video. Be happy to address them. Just ping me. Um, but yeah, thanks guys.